Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I'm back on 1.13 pre-release 6. I have some really good news to share with you. Today I got my text message confirming that I have passed my final law degree exams. Not really officially yet, but I have to graduate, get my degree, like personally get the stuff. <laughs> you know, the stuff that you need to graduate and then I'll be, uh, I'm done with university. So I wanted to celebrate today with a video which I normally don't really like making. Um, but this is an exception because I have made yellow chickens, uh, so I wanted to make a video about it. It's just yellow, it's pretty much just yellow chickens. I'm gonna get rid of your eggs, dude. It's also a silly Sunday, so why not? Uh, I have all these chickens here, but that's not all. Um, I also made them into rubber ducks, so as soon as I leash them into the water, they turn into baby chickens. Let's get rid of all that. <laughs> um, uh, they turn into baby chickens, and notice how they don't sink through the water so they don't bob up and down uh, because I made them float on the water surface. I don't actually need all these leashes but these leashes allow me to coordinate them uh, a lot easily, uh, a lot more easily so um, I can drag them across if I wanted to fairly violently so it's like I'm grabbing on to the rubber ducks and uh, I can control them wherever I want them to, to go. So I can also use the seeds to sort of uh, beckon them towards me uh, and so they'll slowly uh, come towards me more naturally now, but I've got like 70 rubber ducks here, so uh, what's not to love about this? Alright, let me get rid of all these leashes. What's the easiest way to do this? Like this? There we go. You can see that they've just frozen on the water, which is essentially what I wanted, uh, because that's what rubber ducks, that's how rubber ducks behave. They like to stay in groups and uh, friendship. <laughs> so um, they're going to stay like that forever until I hold these seeds and then I can sort of uh, push them to one side if I wanted to, but they're rubber ducks, so they don't really move. That's essentially their uh, their demeanor. Yeah, 71 rubber ducks. You can count, count all the leashes, 64 plus 7. I've got 71 rubber ducks here. So you can enjoy that. That's um, all I wanted to share with you. Uh, and so I guess if you uh, get them to follow you across, they're really slow. I guess if I wanted them to come towards me, um, they will grow up again. Why are they doing that? I guess that's how rubber ducks like to coordinate themselves, right? It's their formation, um, <laughs> the rubber duck formation. So yeah, they return, uh, they regress. So they return back to their uh, original chicken state once they're out of the water. And they're back to normal now, yellow chickens. And then once they go back to the water, they become rubber ducks again. So anyway, there's only two command blocks here, right? Uh, one is just uh, the resource pack component. And then I have here, um, execute as at E type chicken. Add at S, if they're in the water, they can TP at that actual coordinate there, the water level, which is consistent throughout the world. Uh, unless, you know, you've got waterfalls or um, inside a cave. Is that an enderman? No, it's not. I was distracted. And then I've got a chain command block here, which is uh, making them age 10, negative 10 S. So this essentially means if they're in the water, they are babies, they're chicks. And then once they emerge out of the water, this no longer applies, so they grow up in like half a second. There is obviously another way to do this. You can use block models to create rubber ducks, and then that's really boring though, so I decided to mess with chickens. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'm going to continue on my bowling project, and hopefully you guys uh, enjoy that too, and just had a bit of a laugh in today's video. Uh, just to give myself a bit of a breather, because I um, it, was, it was a busy day, but uh, it was also a very nervous day for me as well. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content, and leave your suggestions in the comments for very silly, nonsensical videos. Take care.